Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Craft Kitchen. Today, we're going to be taking a little trip on over to Italy and making a delicious stuffed eggplant. I've made this dish already like six times in the past two months voluntarily. It's that good. It is that good. This thing is packed full of roasted tomatoes, garlic, onions, bell peppers, chilies, unbelievable. I know most people are probably afraid of eggplant. They really don't know what to do with it. Well, this recipe is definitely one that you will remember and continue to make just like I'm going to. So hold on to your eggplants because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Let's get our veggies chopped up and ready to roast. I like to cut the stem side off of the garlic because it can be quite tough. Give them a smashing and a peeling. Take the seeds out of your bell peppers and cut them a bit smaller. In goes our Roma tomatoes with some oil, and we'll toss it around before adding the salt. Coat everything evenly and then lube up the eggplant. Now get your pan pretty hot over medium high heat, drop in some more oil, and in with the veggies. Let them roast like this covered to develop some char and flavor as we occasionally toss them around. After a couple of minutes, mix them around to ensure even cooking. I like to start them hot and then drop the heat to just below medium once everything has some good char. Keep it covered and let them cook. When it is soft and beautifully charred, put everything except the eggplant and tomatoes in a bowl. We need to take the skin off and core out of the tomatoes before adding them. A splash of vinegar and our spice blend go into the bowl. Now take your high-tech butter knives and just keep slicing the hell out of it until it resembles a smooth salsa of sorts. It should look something like this when you're done. Put the eggplant on a lined baking sheet and cut the stem side off. Split it right down the middle and open it up. Cut some slashes in the flesh of the plant to absorb the olive oil and salt we're putting on it. Spoon our mixture evenly on both halves, mounding it as necessary. One last splash of olive oil before we bake this for roughly 40 minutes in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. When it comes out, just incorporate everything together with the side of a spoon. 
Add even more olive oil and salt if necessary. Now serve it however you prefer and enjoy. Just look at how beautifully rustic this is. Oh my God, absolutely delicious. I love this. I wanna make it again right now. My favorite way to eat this is just spread on bread, but you could put it on a baked brie, you could put it in a pasta dish, whatever you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. It really helps me further this channel and keep these videos rolling for you. Thank you so much for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.